In this problem, we have to simplify this expression. So since we're trying to um, take the square root, the goal in a problem like this is to write each of the little pieces, each of the factors, as something squared. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the square root of. So the 64, we can write that as 8 squared. The x to the ninth is going to take some more work. Let's go to the side here and think about it. So x to the ninth can be written as x to the eighth times x to the one. And that's because when you multiply things um, with the same base, you actually add the exponents. And so now we can write the, the eight as x to the fourth squared. And then we have x to the one. So let's go ahead and do that here in the problem. So this will become x to the fourth squared times x to the 1. And if you don't get it right away, like say you did x to the 9 equals x to the 4, you know, x to the 5, and then you, held, and you dealt with this, you would still have this, and hopefully you would see that you can keep going later and then simplify it later. So if you don't get them all perfectly simplified at first, just keep working through it, and, and eventually you will. So 4 is 2 squared. And then x cubed, again, we can do something with that. We can write that as x squared times x to the 1. And again, the goal is to have everything, as many things as possible, squared. Oh, this is really cool. Look, the x's cancel. <laughs> very, very nice. And now we just take the square root of each piece. So this is the square root of it, 8 squared, the square root of x to the 4th parentheses squared, over the square root of 2 squared, the square root of x squared. By the way, all variables here are assumed uh, to be positive. So this is equal to 8, because the square root cancels the 2. Right? It does that in every case. And then x to the 4th over 2x. Oh, look at that. We get more cancellation here. So we lose an x. There's four of them up here, and there's one down here. And 8 over 2 is 4. So we get 4x to the 3, and that would be the uh, final answer. I suppose even before we did the simplification, I just realized this, <laughs> maybe not the best solution. We could have simplified this first. That would have been a lot easier. So, oh well, too late. <laughs> At least the answer's right. I hope this video has been helpful.